All things might come to an end, but the good things don't always have to end bad. Just take it from Gigi Hadid and her bachelor boyfriend, Tyler Cameron. What's up, you guys? It's Drew Dorsey back here on Clever News, and let's just give a big round of applause for the least messy breakups in all of Hollywood, Gigi Hadid and Tyler Cameron, and Demi Lovato and Mike Johnson. So I won't lie and say that I didn't invest quite some time in these relationships because I was genuinely rooting for these couples who found lust in a hopeless place, but I'm just so happy I don't have to report on a messy breakup today. Let me first start with discussing Tyler Cameron and Gigi Hadid's breakup. Tyler being the perfectly mannered, respectful gentleman that he is, I guess because I don't know him, confirmed that he and Gigi have gone their separate ways and didn't miss an opportunity to gush about her in the process. He caught up with People TV's reality check Monday and revealed, just meeting someone that was great. She's a great person and I met a great friend. She's someone that I have a lot of respect for and think highly of, so I met a great person. He also gave us some insight on why the two decided to end things which he also mentioned was amicable. He said, quote, I took it as I met a great person, a great friend. It wasn't like a bad breakup or anything like that. It was just we're at different parts of our lives right now. The two are no longer seeing each other, but Tyler assured that he and Gigi are still friendly when they run into each other, so no harm done, am I right? These two shook Bachelor Nation after eagle-eyed fans noticed that Gigi followed Tyler on Instagram after his stint on Hannah Brown's season of The Bachelorette. They were first seen together at the Soho House in Brooklyn in early August when a fan photo went viral. Later in August, the two genetic lotto winners were spotted again driving around New York City. Mind you, Gigi was driving while Tyler was napping in the passenger seat. Very progressive. They were also spotted going into her apartment in the wee hours of the night. Good girl. But it was early September when Tyler made the ultimate boyfriendy move and accompanied Gigi to her grandmother's funeral. Talk about some serious vulnerability. Unfortunately, the funeral was the last time the two were seen together, but it's comforting to know that he'll always have her back. Tyler also opened up to the outlet about continuing to work on himself and that he's learning so much about himself every day. He added, I'm still learning so much about myself every day. Being in this light is totally different, so I'm still learning. As for the future, Tyler has now had experience with dating someone in the public eye and wouldn't mind putting himself in that position again. He said, I'm open to dating anybody, public eye or not, adding just in the right time. Tyler is also keeping the support going while his ex-bachelorette girlfriend, Hannah Brown, is busy competing on Dancing with the Stars. Although he admitted he hasn't exactly been able to keep up with the show due to recently moving into a new apartment in New York City and not yet owning one piece of furniture, he admitted to Entertainment Tonight, I'm rooting her on. I hope she wins the mirror ball. Of course, I'm pulling for her. Okay, someone give this man a television set and maybe a cable subscription. Stat. I'd also love to see these two get back together, but I won't get too ahead of myself here. But while we're on the topic of Bachelor stars dating megastars, it seems as though the Demi Lovato slash Mike Johnson saga has also come to an end. This week is apparently the amicable breakup news week that just keeps on giving because sources revealed to E! News that there was really nothing bad that happened between Demi and Mike, saying, Demi and Mike's fling has fizzled out and they aren't seeing each other or texting like they were before. Nothing happened, it just ran its course. The insider added, Demi was definitely interested in Mike at one point, but it was short-lived and she wasn't ever planning on dating him seriously. Mike, on the other hand, might have different future plans. The Bachelorette star is allegedly really optimistic in reconciling with Demi in the future. Mike hopes they can have a second chance again, but for now, he's fine with being friendly. A source told E! News, quote, Mike hopes they can have a second chance again, but for now, he's fine with being friendly. Mike confirmed that the two went on multiple dates together and were having a good time getting to know each other, but that things were still in the early stages. It wasn't until a few weeks later when Mike asked out Kiki Palmer on national television. I was, I made a mistake. I don't like dating in public, but if I were to ask you if we can go on a date <laughs> in the public, Fans began pegging him as fame thirsty and noted that he stated just weeks ago that he was seeing Demi and only Demi. Kiki's face basically said it all and was literally all of us at the time when she responded with, what's the next question? What's the next question? Mike was immediately forced to do a little backtracking, probably with the help of his publicist, and later vowed to remain tight-lipped about his private life from here on out. 
Probably a smart move, my man. Neither Demi nor Mike have yet to comment on their short-lived romance, but it seems these two are both doing just fine because did you see Demi's Halloween fits over the weekend? Girl isn't playing this Halloween and has already dressed up twice while even hosting her own party at the High Dyke Club in LA. Just had to point that out because her costumes gave me life while I stuffed my mouth with three musketeers on my couch. Anyway, enough for me. I gotta hear all your thoughts on Tyler and Gigi's amicable split as well as Demi and Mike's. Do you think either of these ex-couples has potential to reconcile? Get to talking down here in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you never miss an update. Then click right over here for even more news. Thanks so much for watching. I'm your host Drew Dorsey and I'll see you next time.